Innovation and technologies these days are the tools that we all have in hand to rival the world challenged by pandemic and geopolitics. So now let me introduce over here Walker. It is a service robot presented by Chinese AI and robotics company UB Tech at the fair. I had some great fun with Walker. The world of robots is always fun and right now I'm standing here and going to meet one service robot whose name is Walker. I heard from colleagues here that Walker can do a lot of things. It can walk, it can water the plants, even doing some yoga. And later I'm going to do some interactions with Walker. Now we are to see Walker waters the plant. Some sprinkles. And now I'm so much looking forward to doing some yoga with Mr. Walker. I hope I could stretch as well as he does. It looks like Tai Chi rather than yoga. As you can see, the joints are all very good. Wow, more challenging position. Voila, this set of actions looks perfect. <laughs> Walker is telling me everything is fine. I hope so. I want that bottle of soda. So Walker is now going to present that to me and hand it over to me. Let's see how it works. He looks happy. Oh, turning to me now. I can... Okay, this is handed over to me, very safe and sound. Thank you. Now he's going to do some soccer. Look at that. Very good, Walker. I love it. And to know how it works and why it works, here's someone we must meet, Michael. Hi, Good to see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your teams were the ones behind all of this uh, wonderful actions you could perform. Yeah. Tell us more about you know what is behind this technology. There are five uh, key intelligence technologies okay. in one robot. The first one you see. When he needs to do something, he needs to see uh, anything. Mm. So uh, there's a, the vision learning is very uh, important to a robot. Yeah. So for, for the human being, it's ourselves. The 80% of the information uh, we get from the outside world, yeah, from the eyes. So the, uh, there's a machine vision for the robot is the key to drive the machine to do everything for us. Okay. The second thing is you, you need to uh, do something, you need to have the operation system. Right. So we have the ROSA. Uh, there's uh, the first in, uh, ROSA system for the robot to drive the robot to do everything mm. and also coordinate with all the, uh, the content connected with the outside world. Yeah. So if he, he can read the uh, novel to you, oh. He can accompany you to see the TV. 
So when you discuss the like a football match, so all the information is seen from the screen. He can input through the operation system, right. and there's more, one more important. He need to interact it with you. Yes. So the voice recognition. It's very important. So there is a lot of algorithm involved, whether yeah. it's vision or positioning, right, yeah. and also allocation. Yeah. And they also need to have a operating system that brings everything together. Yeah. I see. So, so uh, what about the performance he just did? Are you giving him uh, 100 points or 80 points? Uh, it's my baby, so I give you 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll say that. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. the only one, right, you yeah. are working on. There's one but more. But also one more. OK, yeah. tell us more about this. <laughs> okay, there's one more baby. So <laughs> it's for the global pa uh, pandemic. Okay. It's called Cruiser. Yes. It's Cruiser. He can help you to detect your temperatures. All right. And also, so he reminds you. 36.2 or 33.4 Celsius. <laughs> and it is advising me here in red that I should wear the face mask, the, the, the face which mask. I didn't do because for the interview. But anyway, yeah. fun. Okay. So this is specially for the solution to the global uh, pandemic. Right. So prevents the, all the disease, the infections. He has the interactions mode. I see. So after he detects you, if you, the temperature is higher, mm -hmm. and then he has the alarm to the doctor. Okay. The doctor can wire, there's a camera here, he can through the video conference to talk to you. Okay, wow, so there's a whole series of services. Yeah, 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 there's a total solution wow. to so checking the... So you see that not only here in China, Michael yeah. told me or, or earlier, yeah. that actually it's been used in hospital in, in South Korea, Korea. Okay. in Japan, in Japan. Uh, also in Belgium, I and also in Austria. Know. We uh, adapt this robot mm -hmm. into different mm -hmm. hospitals mm -hmm. and also the communities as well to help to prevent the uh, coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Talking about this, you know, Michael, there has been a lot of discussions about, you know, where robots are going. As a developer of robots, what do you make of the current reality? Uh, the first thing is we need to focus and invest quite a lot in the core uh, AI technologies. So there's a very long term investment. So we don't see it's a very short term. So for long term one, uh, we have the vision that to bring the robot into the every family. For that goal, we need to invest quite a lot, like the algorithm, mm -hmm. difference, like the machine learning, yeah. also the big data, and also the nice um, uh, movement co controls. This is the core investment uh, aspects for a robot industry. So this, for long term one, we have cooperated different uh, research lab. Uh, we de develop in Beijing, develop in Wuhan, develop in uh, our Shenzhen headquarters. So this is what we do by ourselves. Mm -hmm. But globally, we hope that we are still looking forward to a global cooperation in a very high levels of the AI industries. Mm -hmm. That would be very uh, good and benefit for that mutual benefits for the global societies. You know, Michael, I love what you just said, but I also love Walker. Oh, I yeah. just wonder I when can I take Walker back home? <laughs> um, like really, really functioning. There's, uh, we still at a stage of the early, very early stage of AI mm -hmm. and the uh, service robot. So we are looking forward uh, in two goals. One goal maybe. Uh, in ten or two, uh, in ten or twenty years, maybe we can uh, uh, make the goal and let every family have your robot They're to service at you. Yeah. <laughs> the second goal is that we need to uh, set a very uh, compatible price for every family, like a second class car. Mm -hmm. The price is equal to that. That's about. Uh, Thirty thousand US. Thirty thousand yeah. somewhat. So, that so then can you can affordable yeah. afford right. to uh, in every single family you can afford one service robot in your family.